Hey guys, what is up? Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. The channel is specifically designed for new chinchilla owners to learn how to take care of a chinchilla in the best fashion possible, or for current chinchilla owners just to have some fun and learn some new things along the way. So if any of that interests you, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Otherwise, I want to cover today's topic, which is five things that all chinchillas love. Our most recent video was a video about the things that chinchillas hate. This is going to be the opposite. We're gonna talk about the things that chinchillas love instead. As a quick update for the channel before I dive into those specific things, I do want to point out that we are going to be moving to just Sundays only for the publishing schedule. We are doing this for a few specific reasons, but mainly we want to try and curate some longer content for you, a little bit better, more in depth, and it's just easier on Asher and I to move it into a consolidated one day schedule. So if you have your notifications turned on, look for the videos on Sundays only going into the future. We appreciate all of you who have stuck around through the schedule changes. And now let's start diving into those five things that all chinchillas love. Which on that list, number one is something you can kind of see on the cage right now. They love tons of ledges when possible. In order for this to happen, you do need a larger cage, which I'll discuss a little bit further into the video, but one of the things you have to provide a chinchilla if you do adopt is tons of space to jump and climb. The safest way to do this is by providing a bunch of ledges inside of the cage. So make that a priority. They are extremely affordable on platforms like Amazon. You can also get them from several like chinchilla vendor style websites. Make sure you get some, put plenty in the cage, dress it up the way you like it, but it is a necessity, you need to do it. Which leads me directly into number two, which is chinchillas love the space, not just the ledges, but they need the vertical and the horizontal space. She's jumping all around the place right now, but I highly, highly recommend, I've been recommending it for years, the Critter Nation 2 dual level cage that you see right here. They do sell a single level cage. It's not bad by any means, but I think two gives them the space that they need. That's a total of four platforms, plenty of space vertically so that they can jump and climb. It's just a great cage overall. One of the best looking cages, extremely durable. I've been using this one for several years. Great overall purchase and probably the best cage currently unless you do some kind of custom cage available for chinchillas. I will link it in the description below so that you can check it out. All right guys, the third thing that all chinchillas love, it would be very difficult to find a chinchilla that did not enjoy this, but chinchillas love their dust baths. They absolutely enjoy the time during the dust bath. They like to be clean. They wanna get that fur cleaned up. Not to mention they just have a ton of fun while they're rolling around in the dust bath in particular. So make time to give them a few dust baths at minimum per week. Three would be okay. Anything more than three you might risk drying out the fur, but you do need to find time to provide that dust bath. It's the only way they stay clean. You can't use anything like water to give a chinchilla a bath. It's very dangerous, could make them sick, it could kill them. So. It's not only something they love, it's something that they need. Number four thing that all chinchillas love, guys, is just that time out of the cage, and that could be dedicated specifically for dust baths. It could be for playtime, it could be in a playpen, or it could be in a chinchilla-proof room, but most chinchillas, depending on if they're at least a little bit social, absolutely love to get out of the cage. They might be a little skittish in the beginning or need that time to adapt to the environment you're putting them in. Like I said, that could be a bathroom, with the toilet lid shut. That could be just a room that you've proved that they are safe in, but don't get discouraged if you get them out of the cage in those first few weeks and they're just kind of staring at a wall or they go to one corner. They're scared, they're figuring it out, but once they do figure it out, that time out of the cage is going to be when you see them do some of the most fun and entertaining things like springing off two walls at the same time or jumping on your head or just doing crazy laps around the room. They love that time out once they warm up to it. Find a way to provide it as much as possible. Build it into your schedule and make a routine, but it's beneficial for both you and them. It helps build the bond. They enjoy it. They get out of the cage a little bit, and it's just part of raising a chinchilla in an ethical manner. 
All right, guys, the next thing that chinchillas love is treats. They're almost like a dog in this fashion. The biggest issue with treats is you need to make sure that you are safe about it and providing treats that won't cause any digestive issues for them. So you can't use anything like water-based fruits or veggies. I probably wouldn't use most fruits or vegetables anyways. I would stick to things like dried oats, uh, rose hips in very small quantities, things like that. But they do love them. They will come to you to get them. They'll eat them right out of your hand. They look forward to them. Again, they are called treats for a reason. They should not be given in large quantities or too often, but it is one of those things that a chinchilla is going to enjoy and that you can use to your benefit to help build a bond or teach them to come to you or teach them to go back into the cage. It's beneficial, they love it, and it's cheap to provide them. Another thing that chinchillas love, guys, is when you respect their space and respect what they are trying to communicate to you. There is a lot of situations where this could arise, such as in the very beginning when you're trying to hold them or if you want to pet them. Those kinds of things you need to try and read their body language a little bit and figure them out, but they don't necessarily show you in some dramatic fashion that they love this, but you will notice later that the bond was built much easier with your chinchilla or that they become much more comfortable with you when you respect what they're trying to tell you. If they do not want to be held in the beginning or just four years down the road, if they're not in the mood for it, don't push it. Listen to what they're trying to tell you. They will be happy with you for it and it's better for the relationship as a whole. All right, guys, I would love to hear what your chinchilla loves, what you think are some of the most beneficial things to offer or do with a chinchilla. Be sure to drop those kind of comments down below for us. Again, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up on this video. That helps us out immensely with the YouTube algorithm get seen by other chinchilla owners. Never forget to visit planetchinchilla.com. If you need additional resources, the blog is there for you with over 200 blog posts. There is the ebook that we put out at the beginning of this year. You just go to the top menu, click ebook downloads. You can use promo code chincare50, C H I N C A R E 50, at checkout for 50% off. That is exclusive to the YouTube audience. Be sure to check that out. Otherwise, guys, don't forget we have moved to Sundays only for the publishing routine or schedule. We hope that that works for all of you. If we find out it doesn't, we may adjust, but we will start seeing you on Sundays. Again, we hope you had a great Christmas. We hope. A happy new year and a much better 2021 for everybody. We'll be around. We'll be making more content for you. We appreciate you stopping by. Take care and we'll see you next time.